Hello, everybody. It's Jesse. It's pretty late at the office. Uh, I may be the last person here. I don't know. But um, this is a video I've been sort of sitting on all day. I've been thinking about. It's kind of a thing that needs to happen. It's a thing that I've been wanting to talk about for, I'm going to be honest, two years. Roughly two years. And in that time, I've kept putting it off and putting it off. And put, you know what? Just like the gym, I keep putting it off and putting it off. I feel like this is the same. It's something that I know needs to be done, but I'm. It's like terrifying. It's genuinely scary, and so I want to uh, let you know what's going to happen. About a week ago, I posted a thing on Patreon that was like, "Hey guys, I want your opinion on stuff. I want to know what you think. Should I change what I do on the channel?" Because when it comes to Let's Plays, let's be real, um, YouTube's not the place for them anymore. YouTube, as a functioning platform, the playing, rendering, uploading is not feasible anymore. By the time I'm on episode three, people have already beaten the game. And because YouTube punishes you for uploading more than two videos a day, there's no possible way I can compete. It doesn't make sense, especially when you see things like the first video gets 100,000 views, and then every subsequent video gets less and less and less and less. Plus, time goes on, people stop caring, people find videos that, you know, are further than me, all that stuff. And my schedule doesn't allow for me to do more, and it just doesn't seem feasible to do so. It, it seems smarter to take Let's Plays and move them to Twitch, and then just leave VODs there and point people in that direction. I'll still play the exact same way, I'll still do the exact same thing, except they just be there. So, what happens with the channel? Well, I want to be very clear on this, like, my mind is made up. This is, it's gonna happen it, soon, TM, it's not gonna happen immediately, but this is the future, and hopefully this is something you're gonna buy into and really like, and it'll be something that keeps you coming back to the channel more so than uh, whenever I post, like, a Scary Game Squad. Oh, speaking of which, uh, things like Scary Game Squad or Monster Prom fun little four-episode playthroughs or a co-op game like uh, Life is Strange with Dodger or Multiplayer Mayhem, those things will still be on the channel. They'll still be on the channel. They'll pop up whenever we do them. Um, Fan Friday will still be on the channel, except I want to change Fan Friday. This is the first thing that I want to change. I want to change Fan Friday to being something back to its roots, where it wasn't always playing a game. Fan Friday was, you the fans had us do something. Whether it was a Q&A, or it was playing a game, or it was doing a challenge in a game. right? Something, I want to get creative with it. I want it to be more about you guys. I want the fan back in Fan Friday. So we're definitely going to make Fan Friday return. It's going to be bigger and better, and it's going to definitely... And I feel like we should probably call it something like Revenge of Fan Friday or uh, Fan Friday Strikes Back. Oh, I like that one. Um, and then we'll be doing other things on the channel as well, besides all of that. So you're still going to have a few Let's Play things here and there. It's not going to be the end of Let's Plays, but um, most of it will be on streams. It's just better, easier, simpler to do it that way, so I have more free time to create things that are going to make me like laugh and and smile and really get back into the passion of what I love about gaming. The first huge thing is we're going to take the Gentleman Sentai Club format, which thank you to all of you who love that. I love it as well. It's hilarious. We're going to take that format and bring it into gaming. And so Santel and I, on a weekly basis, are going to pick a game. Hopefully you'll help us with this. Uh, like Leisure Suit Larry Love for Sale. Or uh, Fear Effect, right? Where they have that elevator scene where they like, make it. Games that are both really campy or like weirdly sexy or like just strange. But it's going to be just very highly produced, very ridiculous, just tons of fun. Um, and it'll be the two of us just riffing. And if you liked that series of videos we did, uh, it's going to be like that. Also, well, I'll get to that. You know what? I'll get to that later. The point is that I want to make this comedy series, right? I want to make a very, very funny show about gaming, keeping the, the like fake classiness of us in our pipes and drinking. We're just going to drink and talk about games and have a great time. It's going to be amazing. 
Fingers crossed. But that will be like a weekend show. And because Fan Friday is, of course, on Friday, you're probably wondering, okay, what about the rest of the week? Aside from all the other things that I mentioned that can happen during the week, I want to do Cox Tees again. Cox Tees, the original premise, got sort of taken over by the fact that I was like, well, it's easier just to do a quick little Let's Play, which was kind of like a Fan Friday anyway, which is dumb. Um, the original premise of Cox Tees was like, I play three, four hours of a game and then condense it all down into 25 minutes. And the whole premise is that I want you to see a game that I love, a brand new game that's out that I love, and I'm trying to show you the most ridiculous, most fun, most amazing parts. And the idea of Cox Tees, of course, was that it was, I show you just enough of a game to get you interested, and then quit. And the whole premise behind it is it's like, this is stuff that I love. And I want you to not only love it, but like go out and support these people. And go out and pick this game up. I, won't, I, I simply won't play games that are shit. I'm not going to. I want to play games that I love that I'm like, oh my god, this past week I played this game and it was incredible. You need to play this game. Right? Like, that's the whole point. It's not an ad. It's literally just me showing you amazing stuff that I now have the time to play now that I've freed up my life to do things other than, like, episode 45 of a Let's Play. I just want to keep it positive. And I want to continue spreading joy the best way I know how. And I feel like by not focusing on crap and focusing on good stuff. Everyone makes videos like, this game sucks. And everyone's like, ha ha ha, it sucks. I feel like if we can focus on the stuff that's good, be it indies or AAAs or whoever, and put that out there, that that's like the kind of brand I want to exude. I'm trying so very hard to just be a positive force on the internet. And sometimes, Lord knows, sometimes it's tough. But like, it's kind of where I want to be. And and I want to make a comedy show. And I want to make positive, not reviews, but like kind of hypey videos for fun games that deserve your attention. And those two videos, I think, would be the staples of the channel, right? And we'd probably get two, three, four Cox Tees a week. And we'd have one gentlemen's video game club or gentlemen's 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 gaming club or, or whatever we're going to call it that would be once a week and the rest of the time we'd have fan friday which would be the you and me thing like let's do so we could be Kristen could be in it or any of you know mari or zach my two editors who are going to be working on these big projects they could be in on it as well it doesn't matter you could ask us to do something and, and we'll go down the list and we'll find some fun stuff to do those are the main staples. And then SGS or Monster, all the other things I mentioned, when they come around, they come around, but there's enough free space in the schedule that we can keep doing that. So with all these changes and stuff happening, I know there are going to be some of you who are like, but why? Honestly, you deserve that. You deserve the reason why. If a channel's going to go through a big change like this, you need to know why more than just like, oh, he wants money. He just, he's the, it's not that at all. Deep down inside, I, like, dream big. And I have so many ideas. And if you follow this channel for years, I always come up with ideas. I'm like, I'm going to make this. Or I'm going to do this thing. Even dating back to the Garrosh music video. Remember that? And I was like, I'm going to make that. When your day in and day out is Let's Plays, I literally spend 14, 15, 16 hours a day working. All day every day. And that sucks because I have all these ideas, all these things I want to do that I've wanted to do for years. And I just can't, I don't have the time in the day. Uh, even with editors, even with the team, like the amount of content you have to produce in order for let's plays to be viable is insane. And there comes a point in time where you have to decide what do I really want to do? What do I really want to focus on? And I don't want to spend till 8.50 at night in the office, right? Like, I don't want that. And so I, I want to be able to create amazing content for you, but do it in a way that is both healthy for me and fulfilling for everyone at this office, myself, for you. Like, uh, we can do better. Than just like, and I played a Let's Play. There's, I, I have like dreams, y'all. So with all this new stuff we're going to do on the channel, I have free time. And in that free time, I'm going to do more stuff. I'm going to create more things 
that aren't just videos. So, uh, let me give you some details. Hentai Club Season 2. That's number one. People loved it. We've been contacted by, I'm going to say, interested parties. And um, Season two's coming. And it's going to be huge. It's going to be amazing. And I want to work on that. Also, I want to take that creativity and that drive that I have to make something and create a thing, tell stories, and make more games. Like, I want to make more video games. I think it's safe to say, all of you who follow Monster Prom's Twitter, Monster Prom 2 is coming. It's coming. It's going to be different than the first one. It's going to be so wacky and fun. Um, that's happening. And even though I'm just a producer on that, that's going to take up time. And then I want to make my own game. I want to make a game that is in one of my favorite genres, FMV. And this requires writing a lot. It requires a lot of writing and a lot of, oh my God, my voice. I have no water. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep my voice, my throat so dry. Just keep going, Jesse. I want to make this FMV game. And I'm not going to tell you anything about it. I don't want to spoil it. I, it just requires a lot. It requires a lot of time. And I will simply say that I've got a great team. And that's all. That's all I'll let you in on. Wink. And that's another thing I want to do. So like all this content coming to you, it's not like you're going to get less of me. It's just going to be different. I want to say better versions of me. Something that I can be not only happy to produce, but it's hard to describe. I want to do things that make me laugh and smile, but also make you laugh and smile and make you get more out of what I can give you than just like a let's play where I go, what? Every five minutes. Cause it's weird, right? There's gotta be more. There's gotta be more that I can create and do. And again, that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop let's plays. They're gonna still be on, on Twitch and stuff. But it, I, I want to, like, just be more. I want this channel to be more. And I want to continue to grow. And I want to do more things that I think you'll be happier with. And I know I will be happier with. And so, yeah, like I said, this is scary as hell. Um, it's, it's a huge difference and a change that I know a lot of you have been here a long time. And so you're used to, like, but Jesse, I like when you explore things. And that's not going to stop. I'm not going to stop exploring stuff. It just, I might have to direct you to Twitch or something. I'm not going to stop making the same jokes. I'm not going to stop uh, being me. I just want to, like, be the creative me that I am and unleash that. And I feel like just by doing the Let's Plays, I'm hampered and I'm just, like, I don't know, not living up to the potential I think you deserve. And my hope is that you will accept this and you'll love this and you will be eager to see what the future holds because it's coming. It's, this is happening. I'm doing this, uh, because I can't, I, I can't keep pushing stuff off anymore. I need to make change for the better now. And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, it's not clearly not going to happen like tomorrow or next week, but it is coming. And I want you to be aware that that's what's happening. Uh, but yeah, Please, please, please bear with me as we go through this change. And hopefully this is something you're excited about. I'd love to see your comments below. I'd love to know what you think. Um, it's okay to be like, I don't like this. This, I don't think this is a good idea. That's fine. Tell me why. Don't just be like, you suck. This sucks. Like, let me know. What is it about this that worries you? What is it? Like, do you think I'm not, I'm just going to like, you know, like most channels, they reboot and stuff. And they're just like, oh, this content sucks. I don't think this is a... This, we aren't rebooting. We're not, like, getting rid of stuff. We're just phasing out one aspect of the channel. Like, just the Let's Play part, I think, is done. Everything else? Well, even the Let's Play part's not done. We're still doing Scary Game Squad. We're still... Like, it's just the daily... Well, even we're doing... I don't know how much is actually changing. <laughs> I mean, stuff will change. The content will change. Hopefully for the better, I think, is at the end of the day what I'm going for. And hopefully that's good enough for you. And hopefully this is something that you're looking forward to. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, it's late. I'm going to go and try and find some dinner around here. But, hey, 
Thank you for all your support. Thank you for all your love and kind words. To everyone on Patreon, thank you for your money, which is insane. I still think that's crazy, but um, it means the world to me. And seriously, thank you guys. It's been almost a decade since I've done this. And I haven't changed a damn thing in a decade. And that is scary to think about when moving forward. That this could be a terrible idea to try something new and try to like give new voices to things that I do and try to it I, it's just I don't know it's just big and so it, well big for me it may not be big for you you may be like I still don't understand what the hell he's talking about because I feel like I'm rambling a little bit but I'm just gonna stop and I'm gonna let you guys know that I love you and I hope that you uh, have an amazing weekend. And um, I'm going to get the hell out of here and stop talking. Anyway, bye, everybody. Thank you so much. And as always, to be continued. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. I love time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. Now here to ask and answer one simple question. It's a broadcast. You 